Hi everybody, we've got um, an unexpected job to do on Stag Stuff today. Um, I was driving home from Leicester the other day and noticed that my voltmeter was reading at 15 volts um, and thought, oh, bugger, we're overcharging. So I did a test on the battery just to make sure it wasn't the meter um, and indeed we are overcharging. So I decided to buy my car a present. So I've got a nice new spanky um, alternator, that's what it is. <laughs> um, I did um, a little while ago, about six years ago, uh, get the alternator that's in there refurbished. So being as it's gone again, I thought about time to uh, change this over properly. So I'm going to take you through uh, doing this. I was going to also at the service change the fan belts so um, I'm going to do this at this stage um, being as they've got to come off anyway. I'm also thinking um, this could have been an opportunity to move the alternator further up. Some people have the alternator higher up the engine um, but I quite like it where it is um, kind of out the way and it fits nice and snug there so we're going to be taking off the power steering reservoir as well to be able to get to it. So let's dive in the engine bay. Okay, so we've got three screws uh, on the housing for the power steering. Uh, let's just get in here, undo these, and then we can release this. Quite easy to get to. Half inch screws. On that, uh, that one's a little bit bigger, so I'm guessing a 9 sixteenths. Yep. And oh, that one's a little bit stiffer. There we go. Actually obliged in the end. So let's get that final screw out. Can take this belt out of the way for the moment, so that's only going to get in the way. There we go, she's off. Right, now, <clears throat> just move this around and out of the way. Right, so I'm going to put a little tissue just around here. Come on. I know you want to. There we go. Okay. So now we can see the alternator down below. Okay, so what we have going on here <clears throat> is I've already taken the belt off the power steering. I've loosened up the bolts for the alternator. So this is now moving and the next job is to get the belt off the alternator. But it's quite a tight fit so uh, I'm going to need both hands for that. Uh, getting to the uh, the bottom nut is far easier from below. And for some reason, it wasn't me, somebody's put, it's because it caused me quite a conundrum, couldn't quite out why, but somebody's put a 13 millimeter bolt on this instead of 12 instead of uh, half inch so uh, <laughs> I was having fun in games so anyway we're gonna get this off and uh, then we should be able to loosen up that um, alternator belt okay a little tip for the alternator belt what you want to do because it is tight on uh, the flywheel for the alternator is actually take it off 
the fan first. That releases it. Then, there we go. You can get it off the alternator. And then just loop it underneath the fan. That's it. Bring that round to the top and you'll be able to uh, take it off. At the back of the alternator there is a plug that's held in by a little uh, retaining clip. This is best unplugged before you actually remove the alternator. So once you've got the belts out of the way and the alternator is swiveling free on the centerpiece that goes across there, I'll show you in a moment, uh, that's the time to unplug this plug. That will then save any uh, catching, any tension on the electric wires that are plugged in when you do come to remove the alternator itself. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just going to pop a spanner this end and that will secure there, pop that there. Yeah, we need a little bit of a tiny bit of an extension. It's now time to take the bolt out. I feel like we're actually getting somewhere now. Oh, hang on. Have I just gone and put the wrong size on? Should be a 12. Yeah, should be a half. Oh, it is. There we go. There we go, and it's coming ni nice and loose now. Right, let's see if we can do that by hand. There we go. Right, I think we're undone. Not quite. There we go. Right. Hey. Oh, need to drop the camera. Getting so excited. And washer. Okay, let's just support underneath. We'll take this out. And now, there we go. Right, I'm just going to balance that there because that will now come out from underneath. Let's see if I can do it balancing the camera above. So now to remove the alternator, which I've just left balancing on the crossbeam, uh, you will need to have removed the fan guard before you can actually extract the alternator uh, from underneath. Uh, so here goes. There we go. Hello. Right. Okay. Alternator hold up here, 
Actually, I know what I'm going to put the pen down here and then it's close to. <clears throat> do apologize if you can't see very clearly, which at the moment. There we go. Right. Okay. At least the alternator's not going to fall anywhere now. There we go. It's going all the way through. washer on and get the bolt on and at least then that's hanging where it should be it's not going to go anywhere now we can get all the adjustments done I don't know, why can't I get that washer on and one of the things I've discovered you can probably see a bright piece that side, bright piece, bright piece that side. This alternator must fit other um, manufacturers, and so that will just adjust up so that it comes up nice and snug to this side rather than that side. So I'll just push up to that point there. So it's just basically taking up a little bit of space for where I want to get my. Um, but uh, nut in but we'll do it okay so we've now got a uh, secured nicely it's now time to get uh, the belts on I think because that'll be the easiest thing to do next and then tighten up the adjuster bolt and then we can get the power steering back on and I know that the uh, alternator belt is going to be a pig because it only just goes on so the way to get the alternator belt on actually thread it round thread it round thread it round and then it starts getting tight but it will go you just have to keep going now this is where it gets to be a pig I'm going to need to have two hands for this. Slide over. That's it. And this one will be just as difficult. And then hopefully it should start getting easier. Oh, only get. That's it. Slide over. That's it, there we go. Right. Yep, then indeed. It is now going to get easier, <laughs> says I. Hopefully. There we are. That's it. That's it. There we go. Alternator belt. Fabulous, and I believe it goes there in line with that. There we go, and we've got her on. Okay, so I've got the uh, half inch bolt that came with the alternator just located. Let's get that finger tight. A spring washer on there a couple of washers being so that bolt goes so f far through there right that's nice okay so that'll still move nicely as I then get the tension right further up and then I can tighten that up uh, later right time to put the fan guard back on
Okay, wonderful. Nicely protected fan now. Okay, back up top again now, and I think it's time that we put the fan belt in place, just so that we don't forget about it. That'd be a bit silly, wouldn't it? There we go. She can hang just there. Right. Yep, that's good. One of the things to check as well uh, when you do a service, and uh, ideal time for <laughs> just do it now, is make sure there's no play in the viscous fan, and there's none. So that's perfect. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tension on this, and then we can then come back and put the um, power steering back on. I forgot what it was called just then. I do apologise if my elbow gets in the way or whatever. You're not going to be able to see very much. But uh, basically just got to tighten up that screw while I keep the tension on the, on the uh, alternator belt. No, no, I don't want that on. It's too long. Actually, that's no good either. It's getting in the way. Okay, a little tip that I've just discovered, <clears throat> because of course, trying to keep tension here with your hand there, and drop the bolt just there, nigh on impossible. So, get a little bar here, pop it down between these two points here, and all of a sudden it holds that really nice, good tension on the belt, and it means that I've now got hands free to be able to do up that bolt, that uh, second one away. Um, and I can put extra tension on if I want to because I've got the bar in place. Can't beat a bit of leverage. And of course, uh, the, the only downside is as well, so I can't show you actually me doing it up because my head gets in the or the, rather the camera gets in the way of my head, so I can't see what I'm doing. So uh, you shall just have to imagine um, me doing this. Sorry about that. Final job to do now is just to tighten up the nut and bolt that uh, is holding it, that's suspending. So this should be quite an easy job. happening just as I hoped there is a adjustable bar that's coming across just at that point <clears throat> that is filling up the gap which then means that this multi um, fitting alternator will then fit snugly Just taking up that slack. Here we go. Now we're getting some tension.
I was going to take some tension on that as well so that I can then <laughs> get that out. It won't be stuck on the head. There we go. That'll do. Okay, let's take this one off. There we go. And get this off. Right, just double check on the tightness of the belt, make sure that it is okay. Yeah, got a little bit of movement, but that is nice and tight. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got to do put the power steering back on. Whew. Right. Does the man want to stop for a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. That'd be lovely. Sorry? Thank you. Oh, that works a lot better. Putting the bottom one in first. So you can see what you're doing. Okay. Right, so I've just taken my gloves off just for a second <clears throat> because I'm going to put the fan belt on or the power steering belt, even. Well, it is the fan belt as well, well anyway, whatever. But uh, I didn't want to, I've been handling the power steering reservoir. That's got a, a little bit of fluid on it, so I didn't want to get that fluid onto. The belt and there we go so that's nicely fixed up there so now all we've got to do put the tension on and then we're done okay so we're going to get the tension put onto the fan belt and again we're going to work smart rather than work hard so we're going to put a little bit of leverage on because I can now just hold this up here. This, this isn't actually um, touching the, the cap, it's just below. And I can hold this up nice and tight, get a good tension on there while I do up the bolts. So. What's that one? Keeping the tension on. Get the second bolt in. That's it. Let's do that up. That's good. Check the tension's still good. Yep, that's lovely. Right, and now do up the nine sixteenths. Okay, hopefully that's now job done. What I will do is I'm just going to check the level in here. What was that saying? Yeah, we need to pop a bit more in there. And then we'll see whether the car is charging as it should. Well, this is that moment of truth. Will she start? Well, there's power. Wait for the petrol to go through. There we go. Let's see. Whoa. Don't like that. Well, I found the problem. And it's uh, this. So there is an adjuster up the top and there is an adjuster down the bottom here as well. And that is fouling on the fan. But if I were to push that further up, no, no, hang on. Put it down then maybe, one of the two. Where is it now? Push it up, that's it. 
and now it's fine. So uh, I know I could have a flat spot on the fan belt from where I'm just having a little look all around see if there's any wear that I can see because I'm hoping to stop the engine quickly enough but I can't see anything uh, so I'm going to risk it we're going to tighten this right up then we'll tighten it from the t we'll, we'll, we'll take the slack up from the top and I'll make sure that I'm not fouling just here hey the joys the joys well Try again. I think everything's clear now. It is. Okay. Now we just gotta see if we're getting the right charge. There we go. Holding beautifully. 13 and a half, 14. That's where we want to be. Now, I know I could have flat potted the... Uh, flat spotted even the fan belt, but I'm just having a look here and I can't see that we have got any uneven movement and I can't hear any flap, 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 flap sort of sound. Yeah, so even not just on a low tick over, uh, it seems to be okay. So uh, I think I've got away with that. So that's good. So that's it. Job done. Alternator changed. Fan belts changed. Uh, bit of a <gasps> hairy moment, uh, but then we found out why. Um, Interestingly, I must admit, I, th I thought I'd got a dud alternator to start with, something had seized in it or something like that. And so I was chatting with Tony Lapworth uh, to see whether he'd come across anything like this before. And he was saying he'd never heard of anything. And then we found out that I'd got the adjustment on both ends of that uh, piece of metal. Um, and again, he's never come across that before. I wonder if it's something that's just Mark I. Um, so it's not on Mark II's. No idea. Be very interested to find out if any of you have uh, got anything like or come across anything like that before. Um, but anyway, so until next time, stay safe, stay well, and uh, if you haven't already, do please like and subscribe to uh, Stag Stuff. It really does help the YouTube algorithms. Bye bye.